Tonight, promises of tax cuts as the rising cost of living continues to bite. The surgeon who helps save victims of the Bondi stabbing gives the gift of life. Accused mushroom killer Erin Patterson in court, why she wants more time behind bars. Our favourite blue healer draws a crowd in London, Bluey celebrated with a marching band. And a crushing blow for the Knights, Captain Kalen Ponga ruled out for up to three months. This is NBN News with Gavin Morris and Natasha Beersdorf. Good evening. Australians looking for a substantial new cost of living package in the May budget could be left disappointed. The Treasurer says support will largely come in the form of tax cuts as new polling shows voters are turning away from the government. Tunnel vision on the budget with three weeks to go. Every Australian taxpayer will get a tax cut. The $170 billion tax cuts billed as the biggest offering of cost of living relief with no other major support on the horizon. If it's affordable, if it's responsible, then that is attractive to us. Uh, we've just got to make all the numbers add up. A job made harder by softer commodity prices and international uncertainty. Treasury predicting weaker growth for our major trading partners, China, Japan and the UK, and Australia may not escape unscathed. Conflict in the Middle East casts a shadow uh, over the global economy and it does risk another spike in inflation. A new resolve poll for the Sydney Morning Herald and Age shows 55% of voters are stretched so thin they'd struggle to pay for a big expense like a fridge or car repair. Marking down the Albanese government, Labor's primary vote dropping to 30% while the coalitions rose to 36%, neck and neck on two-party preferred terms. And we need to see a government that recognises that these economic woes are homegrown and puts in place a plan to restore Australian standard of living. A key measure of how Australians are faring will be Wednesday's inflation numbers, expected to dip again from the current rate of 4.1%, but it's not declining as fast as the Reserve Bank would like. Much of the good news in inflation is probably in the rearview vision mirror. Meaning any future cut to interest rates could be further away. Eliza Edwards, NBN News.